wake up. Hey everybody, welcome back to Firewatch. So in the previous episode, we found out that um, our wife has like dementia or something, and to escape from that, we got a job as a fire marshal, I guess is the right term, in the forest in Wyoming. First day on the job, had to hike all the way to the tower. There was people doing fireworks, we found them, it was two teenage girls. On our way back we saw a creepy guy. Creepy guy ran off somewhere. We got back to the tower and it was vandalized. It was completely tossed. And this is day two. Let's see what Diana has to say. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Great. I don't really know why that would be the case. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're going to want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. Great. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. He's like, uh, no. Okay, how do I... Hmm. Why am I just throwing stuff? That's definitely not how you drop stuff or put it back. Alright, so we need to go to the cave. Is that tree always down? Were those both of those trees down? It might have been the storm. Pretty sure it wasn't like that. the outhouse in a rustic, I'm roughing it sort of way. Yeah, it's a little privacy among the seemingly endless expanse of, well, privacy. I like it all the same. Bear tooth point. Sounds fantastic. If I remember correctly, it was down here. That was a big jump. You wake up pretty early then, huh? As soon as the sun comes up. Forest Service really frowns on us putting up curtains for some reason. Uh, I just covered my head with my pillow. Seems to do the trick. Wow. The forest could never burn down on your watch. Nope. I can't jump off. Oh, that's great. At least I can run. And I wonder who that creepy guy was. Oh, 
It's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh, you know, um, I don't know. I used to just spend a lot of time with our dog, Bucket. Aw, that's a good name. He was a good dog. What type? A beagle. We got him from the pound. That's great. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Heyo. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. What? No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Uh, what was that? Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, Bucket's a cute name. You, um, you owned him with someone? <sighs> that would be my wife, Julia. Oh, like, like your wife? Or like she's taken half my stuff, wife? My wife. But you're here. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. That was super suspicious, wasn't it? Who was she talking to, and was she talking about me? Are these... Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Which trail is it talking about? Let me look at the map. All the way up there? Dang. What is that? Is that a toilet? Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, y you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm in the right area? I do believe. Uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. Korean War veteran. Huh. Found an old hat from a Korean War vet. You'd be surprised how many former service members take this gig. Well, makes sense. I imagine if you've been through war, you probably can't get enough silence. Anything I should know about the cabin at the top of this hill? Hello? Okay, then. What? Uh, well, it has fire damage. <laughs> what was that? Super fast motion to open it.
Was this a camping cabin or what? I don't know. Is there actually like a time of day? I guess we'll follow this because I don't know if it's going to get dark or what. Kind of sounded like I just need to follow this whole trail. Oh, I can see it snapped right there. There's a box. There's a lot of these supply caches. At least the combos are all supposed to be the same. Updated map. Oops. Pine cones. Well, I don't know what the deal is with these pine cones. There's a note. Dave. Hey, yo. Got your note about needing to talk. And sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. <clears throat> Figured you'd be out by the near the canyon, helping those grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know how I could really help anyway. We're coworkers, you know, amigos, professionals. If you need someone to throw a case back with and go time traveling, Ron's your guy, but I'm not great with life stuff, you get it. Hmm, okay. Guess we'll keep it. Uh, there's a board. What? There's something underneath it. There's a book. Um, okay. I don't know if it's possible to just put anything in your backpack. Okay. I guess we continue on. I found. Uh, yeah. Okay. The wires down here. Really? Awesome. Could find. It's like I don't know a mile and a half east of me. You just follow the trail up the hill. You can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. I guess I need to get to the top of that. Which isn't this way. I probably need to follow that trail. Can I jump down? Yes, I can. If this was real life, I'd be afraid of bears. But uh, I don't think there's very many bears. Said there is in the game, but... Um, beer cans. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Yeah. That'd be important, now, wouldn't it? So the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. 
Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it the moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. Ooh, snap. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. But that's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. <laughs> Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. <laughs> Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. I'm, I want to check this out. Underwear thing it says go to hell. <laughs> I didn't do anything to them. It's not like I stole their radio. What's that? Oh, it's just a rock. Okay, well, they came this way. That's a lot of beer. There's got to be a whole group of them. I mean, because how do you drink... Okay, well. You probably can drink that amount. Where are we going? What's over here? I wish this would go to where I'm at. I know that this is not the way I need to go, but I'm curious what's over here. And of course, I need something to cut that. Did they come this way? I don't see beer cans. But I don't think there was another trail, was there? This has to be the way they went. Let's see, supply drop. I guess we'll go up towards the supply drop. I don't think they went this way, but there might be something useful. There we go. And there's nothing. Great. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. I'm gonna go that way. Let's go over here. Maybe they went this way? I really don't know. What the heck is that? There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? 
No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Uh, yeah. Got a camera, some more rope. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up. I think. Oh, get this! This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. He was a lookout? <laughs> yeah, kinda, I guess. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great hmm. kid. You can bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. <sighs> Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned, and, um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. <laughs> I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature, piece by piece. Hey, who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the can? Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? Not that shit, Hail Steve. It's your man, Ron. I went up to check on the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself. More than usual for LOs. Uh, I guess that stands for lookouts. So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in the hammock? I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted, except for us, of course. We're creme de, creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot. Canyon, you know the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. Hmm. Uh, what direction? This is northeast, so that's going up there. I haven't seen beer cans in a while. What does she have? She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? We were scared shitless. And the first time she really started to slip, we just made dinner and acted like it didn't happen. Eventually it was impossible to ignore, and we saw all the doctors and all of that. They diagnosed her, and we were both just very scared. Can't really tell when Julia is scared. She just gets quiet. She was very quiet. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? Uh, chain link fence yeah it looks like it surrounds a huge area 
Huh. That's weird. Who are they keeping out of here? And why? Ah, uh, jeez. I don't know. Maybe it's biologists, you know? Well, they don't want people traipsing on their precious lichens. What's a lichen? Well, wouldn't you lichen to know? <laughs> oh my god, goodbye. I'll ask next time I talk to someone, but <laughs> that'll probably be a few days. From this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. Hmm, you're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in the fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there, as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. <sighs> okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. Can you get on the fence? Nope, looks like it's blocked. I'm just gonna double check. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. <laughs> well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Hey, flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful! Uh, let's check the map. Yeah, I guess we're going the right direction. So, how'd you meet? Met in a bar. Mmm, the birthplace of modern romance. I walked over and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. Guess we'll head this way for now. I think we're running out of daylight. Where are we at, though? Okay, that's the way back there. I'm not sure that's the way we want to go. Let's go around this way. But I do have the rope set up, so... If I ever need to come back in this area, I can go back. Uh, okay. Jump down. No idea if this is where we gotta go. Um... That looks like a smoke. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You, you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. That's kind of far. I don't know which way I should go. Should I go down? I'm gonna put the rope on there though. I can come back up this way. So this way will take us down Thunder Canyon. Yeah, we'll go this way. Nope. 
rope looks like a snake. What are you gonna do when the fire season wraps up? Are you gonna go be with her? Just go back to Boulder? You should go be with her. That's my opinion. I'll probably just head back to Boulder and... I don't know, I'll figure out what's next. Oh, maybe I'll move. <laughs> no. You should go see her. Yes, you love her. I'm down in Thunder Canyon. I'm not seeing that smoke anymore. Oh, it's still burning away. Try heading west from where you are. If you loop past the lake, there should be a trail that'll take you further south. Thanks, that helps. I don't know what those things are. I don't know if that's a glitch. It looks like rocks like falling. But this is where we were at. This is how we um went back to our tower, right? job in the paper and figured, you know, what the heck. What the heck? I've got no ties and no life. Better go spend what's left of it in utter loneliness. <laughs> Something like that? Yeah, thanks to last summer, the bump in Forest Service budget actually allowed for us to advertise for the job. Glad it worked. What happened last summer that accounted for this um, windfall? Jeez. I mean... The federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? Yellowstone is like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. Sounds weird. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news. I mean, what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the Gipper? Uh, I found a sweatshirt from the University of Eastern Colorado. Maybe it's one of the girls. Ron got some bad news back at home, so hopefully they'll hit, let me out of here for a while. Who's to say? But it's being what they are. Did you get my note about what went down in Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have just got hung up. Uh, cool. I mean, it's been here a long time. There's a University of Eastern Colorado? I really don't think there is. Why would somebody make that up? Right, and then put it on a sweatshirt. The world's a weird place. I don't know what's up with all these books. Okay, so I got that. We'll make our way around. That's where they were at. And the camp they had was over here. A duck?
This is where their campfire was. And I guess we just go this way. Is there a trail or something I can get up? Can I climb this? Nope. She had mentioned going south at the... Maybe this is where I gotta go. Yep, that's how you get over there. 